Of the second game now, P is flashing in the middle and the two are determined to try and get to Tim before he can get to the end of the run. What P, everybody, is a breed of hunting dog or a hand on the clock? That's Tim. Uh, pointer. That's right, yes, pointer it is. Now, come on, everybody, as Tim picks the next letter, let's go for this one. Which is it, Tim? Uh, the F, please. No, I, okay, the F at the top. <clears throat> what F became known as the F word at the Maastricht Euro Summit? Because John Major... Yes, James? Federalism. Federalism. Yes, I'll give you that. Federalism it is. Well done. The hesitation is because I had to read through the answer. We had federal down, but it says lower down except federalism. Well done, you've got yourself on the board and you've got the first choice. I'll have an S, please. please I'll please. have an S, okay. What S is the city for which Jorn Utzon, the Danish architect, designed a famous... Yes, James? Stockholm. No. Worth trying, though. Tim, what S is the city for which Jorn Utzon, the Danish architect, designed a famous modern... Opera House. Sydney. Sydney. You knew I was going to say it, didn't you? Sydney is right. Well done. Right, another letter. Oh, W, please. W. Oh, I see, yes. What W is the material used in parquetry and marquetry? That's Jim. Tim. Wood. Wood is the simple answer. That's well answered. So, three whites and one blue so far. Still fairly early days, but they've got to buck up. Right, Tim. Uh, L, please. L. Okay. Of what L, everyone, do the contestants of 15 to 1 have three and... Yes, Michael? Lives. Lives is right. Good answer. <laughs> there was a second part and a cat, proverbially nine. You got it before I got to that. Well done. You've got the choice for the next one. Can we have the G, please? I thought Bob? you might. Right away from the battlefield. What G is the plural word for the solid sediment left in the bottom of a coffee cup? Tim. Granules? No, that's before it goes in. James and Michael. What G is the plural word for the solid sediment left in the bottom of a coffee cup? Yes, James. Is it the grounds? Grounds or grouts? I would have taken either. That's another blue. <laughs> now, suddenly the game looks brighter for our double team. It's three blues and three whites, and James, you have the choice. I'll have an N, please. An N. Okay. Trying to move along the top. What N is the first name of the bespectacled Greek singer whose recording of the White Rose of Athens was a big hit? Yes, Michael. Nana. Nana Mascouri. Absolutely correct. Back on the picture. And here's me thinking it was before your time. <laughs> What's next? Can we have the E, please? Okay. Moving across the top quite successfully. So stand by, Tim. What E, according to Coleridge in the Ancient Mariner, describes the water, water, nor... Yes, Tim. Everywhere. Everywhere. Well interrupted. Nor any drop to drink. <laughs> now, at long last, a flashing light. It is white, so our double team have got to jump on him if they can. Which one? I'll have to choose the T, please. The T. Here it is. What T can be radial, cross... Tim? Tyre. A tyre is the right answer. That's your answer. Well, he really is in control at the moment, isn't he? That was Tim, and he got there. Now has 115 pounds, but more to the point immediately is the fact that we've got to say goodbye to James and Michael. It was a short visit, but uh, an impressive one, because we all know about lawnmower racing now. James, thank you very much indeed. Thanks to you, Michael, as well. Uh, shaking hands already to say goodbye, but it doesn't matter. Any old time will do, because I'm going to tell you now that you've got to take your mascots, plus the Blockbuster Dictionary, of course, and the Blockbuster Sports Shirt, and the £20 each that you've earned. Hope you've enjoyed it, fellas. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. A round of applause for James and Michael. Right. Right, we may waste no further time, because we're going into the second of the gold runs for Tim. So, Tim, you're ready to do this? OK. Hold tight for a moment, because you get the advantage of a preview of the board. I hope it does you a little good. And then I say to you, of course, as you know all too well, for the second time, Tim, put yourself on the hotspot, please. As before, but perhaps a tiny bit quicker this time, gold to gold in 60 seconds or less. Tell us where you want to start on the left, and we'll start our clock. I'll start with FE, please. 
What the abbreviation EG stands for? For example. Yes? SP. It should always be read before signing an agreement. P.S. Eaton, Harrow, Rodine and Benenden. Private schools. That's right. Uh, Q.O.N. Choice for the three finalists in the last round of 15 to 1. Question or nominate. That's right. M.C. Removable lid of an inspection chamber. Manhole cover. Yes, that's right. R.F. Dynamic action which drives the north poles of the two magnets apart. Rotating force? Not rotating. Revolving? No, drives them apart. Removing? SS. No. Imprisonment not served by the offender unless he commits another crime. Suspended sentence. That's it! Drop that go! Five seconds to go! Well done! Congratulations and here's your second gold run prize coming up. Take a look at this. This five octave MIDI compatible keyboard is a recipe for limitless musical exploration. Blend one of 128 sampled voices with one of 64 different backing styles. Set desired tempo and add manual drums. Build sequences with the integral arranger loop facility and add chorus and digital reverb to taste. Monitor through the built-in stereo speakers and all that's left to do is select the applause sound effect to register your delight. Yeah, very well, Andy. Gosh, you do cut it fine, don't you? The first one you did with a second to spare, that one you did with five seconds to spare. Still, you got there, that's the main thing. Will you do the third? We shall see in time. Retake your seat and give them another round of applause. <laughs> right, a very quick check on those two that he tripped over, or hesitated over, in fact. It should always be read before signing an agreement, is the small print, of course. And uh, dynamic action which drives the north poles of the two magnets apart is repulsive or repelling force. Oh, ho, ho. no wonder he didn't get it. Still, he's now sitting pretty with 115 pounds, hoping to do the third gold run. We'll see whether he does right at the beginning of the next edition of Blockbusters, or a little bit into the beginning, because first of all we meet two contestants, and we look forward to you joining us then. For now, from all of us, goodbye. Oh, well, there they go with that funny dance. Bob's back with more of those tough questions at the same time tomorrow here on Challenge. Mind you, they're still easier than some of the questions on Classic Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Chris Tarrant's here with another set of questions that I just can't answer at 9 o'clock tonight.